Welcome back. We have the Ascent module painted up nice bright silver. And now comes the fun part where I get to peel off all the tape, all the masking. So let's go ahead and get started with that. And then we will start doing the touch-ups where we are going to be painting some of the uh, bits that have different color codes to them. All right, so hang tight and we'll be right back. Well, that's one of my favorite parts. I always love peeling off the uh, the masking, but however, we had some seep through and some chipping. So we're gonna go back over and touch that up with some black paint and uh, be right back, hang tight. And there we go. We've touched up the black areas and cleaned up the silver. Now we're going to go on to uh, painting the little details that are on the system. So the um, engines, the thrusters are gold. Uh, cones, black interior, so we'll do that first. Uh, the Rendezvous radar, this is black. And then um, I believe a couple of the other instruments are gold. So we're gonna jump right on that and get that going. So hold tight. Okay, there's all the gold details added. Looking pretty good, I'm happy with it. Next, it seems that we have some foil to add. So we're gonna follow the instructions on these foils and then this will be attached to the landing module and we'll be good to go there. So hold tight and let's get the foil going. And there it is, the uh, launch module is finished. And now we just connect it to the landing module. Get that piece of tape off of there. These go there. Like so. 
and it latches in like that. So there we go. There is the entire lem ready to go. Now, next step is the base. All of this indented area needs to be painted black. And then we will paint up all of the equipment. So let's go ahead and jump on that right now and get to work. So I'll be right back. There we are. Now, just to add a little bit to this, I am gonna dry brush the entire base, except for the black area, with a light gray, just to see if I can't bring out some of the details a little bit more. So let's do that next. The base is painted up. I did a light dry brush. Like I said, I don't want it to be too obvious. Just a little bit of highlight around the edges in here. So now what happens is the lander gets placed let's go this way. Here we go. Yeah. To be honest, I'm not overly happy with this model kit. The plastic doesn't want to take the paint too well. And the, um, the foil doesn't want to stay adhered to the paint or to the uh, plastic either. So I might have to go and find me a better lunar module model kit. This one's okay, it's not bad. I do like the base and I do like all of the items that comes with it, but that's what we're gonna be painting up next. So hold tight, here we go. So there's almost no instruction on how to paint these. The only one that really has any instruction is this item, which is the seismic experiment. The solar panels are black and this little tower piece is gold. That's it. But I understand that most of it was kind of an off-white color, except where something was needed. So we're just gonna we're just gonna wing it. So hold tight. Here we go. Thank you. 
Well, we're coming up to the last step, adding our astronauts onto the kit. So here we go. Here's my exacto knife. I need to trim the bottom of his feet just a little bit. All right, so here's one. And number two. Okay, there it is. I'm gonna be honest, I do not like this kit. It's too clunky. The plastic does not like paint at all, even if you scruff it. Um, I'm wondering if it's the age that is the problem with my kit because a lot of the foil doesn't want to stick. And even though I built everything as flat as I could, it still doesn't want to sit on the base properly. But it was fun to build, okay? I will say that much. And it's not a bad little kit. It, it's okay. I mean, I think I'm going to have to find me a really nice detailed kit of the uh, lunar module and... I think that's what I'm gonna, I'm just going to have to put the money out and buy a really good one. So, here we are with our Lunar Lander 19, 1969, the 50th anniversary of the Monogram First Lunar Landing Kit. Uh, let me get you some nice pictures of it, and uh, as always, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoyed making it. Um, like and subscribe, hit that little bell icon, and uh, until next time, have a great day and keep on modeling. Okay, I'll see you later. Have a great one. I'm going to step off the lamp now. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind.